everyone, it's Marsha. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to be sharing with you all of my brand new pots that I picked up for my new indoor plants and a few accessories that I picked up as well. So I shared with you guys a couple of weeks ago that I am a new plant mom. So I decided to start taking care of some plants, indoor plants, house plants, whatever you wanna call them. So yeah, I shared that in a separate video, showed you guys the entire process of me shopping for them and me purchasing them. And so I'm really excited about it. So I didn't want that video to be too long. So in today's video, I am gonna show you all the other stuff that I picked up as well with the plants. All right, so starting with the pots that I'm using for my plants. So as you know, when you buy brand new plants from a nursery, they come in their nursery pot. And so they can stay in there for a while, but eventually you want to repot them. And before I repot them, I wanted them to kind of sit in something that was nice looking basically. So you guys, I shopped around a lot for some pots for these plants. So I started off at TJ Maxx Home Goods because a lot of people told me to um, shop there or Marshalls because they have really cute pots for a discounted price. So went to TJ Maxx Home Goods, but they didn't have a big selection, not the one that I went to. And so I ended up buying one there for my succulent plant and it's really cute and it works really well. Um, but it's actually, I think the exact same size as the succulent plant. So I may repot that in that plant, in that actual pot, but I believe it's literally probably like a four inch pot. And the nursery pot that the succulent plant came in is a four inch pot as well. So, but it's really cute. And that's the only one I bought there. So then I went to Hobby Lobby and they had just a few as well, not that many. And the few that they had were kind of expensive. So I was just like, I don't know if I'm ready to pay this much for some pots yet. So I'm gonna keep looking. And I forgot to say that the um, plant nursery that I picked up the plants from, they had pots there as well. But because I'm new to shopping for these things, I really didn't know what price range I was looking for and I didn't want to overpay. So. I didn't buy any from there either. So that's three different places I looked. And then I eventually ended up at Target. So I went to Target and they had a lot, a lot more than all the other stores that I went to. So I was excited and then I was able to pick up a couple of other things from Target. So it really worked out. So let me show you the pots that I picked up from Target. All right, you guys. So these are the pots that I bought from Target. So. Um, they're called self-watering pots. And the reason that that is, is because they have this little spout at the bottom and you can actually water your pots from the bottom, uh, from the roots, and then just water the plant from the roots all the way up. So um, I had to actually look that up <laughs> because I didn't know like what that was. But yeah, so I honestly bought these because I felt like they kind of match the kind of colors that I was going for for this particular room. This is in my office. And so they kind of match the colors that I was going for. They're neutral. Um, they're lightweight. They're not heavy. And I thought they were cute. And the best part is, is that they were extremely reasonable. I think I paid $3 <laughs> for these pots. So that was the cheapest that I have found anywhere. So I actually really like them. The only thing that I don't care for is this bottom piece that comes off. Um, it's, it's not easy to come off. So um, whenever I want to like drain the water, luckily there's a gap and I actually have to take this off so you guys can see, but there's a gap between the bottom and um, the base, I guess, of the pot. So anytime that I water it, even if I'm watering it from the top, or if I'm watering it from down here, the water is not going to, or the plant is not gonna be soaking in that water. And that's something that you want to be careful of whenever you're buying your pots, is that it either it has some type of hose at the bottom of the pot so they can drain, or I guess if you're getting a self-watering pot like this, then they can drain in here. And actually, let me just take this apart so you can see. All right, so I took my plant out and I took the bottom piece off and so as you can see on the inside it has several holes a lot of drainage and then this is what sits up under it and so um when you're watering it from the bottom up um 
the water is going to come through these holes and it's supposed to just water the entire plant and so it actually had really good reviews on target so i believe it works really well hopefully um for my first time around i'm probably going to water it from the top down <laughs> just to make sure that you know at least it's getting a good water the first time but um for now my pots or my plants are just sitting in here i actually take them out to water them separately and then um, i put them back in here so i'm not actually watering them in here yet so that is the pots that I picked up from Target, you guys. I think they're so cute and I really, really do like them. It's at least for the aesthetic, but <laughs> I have to tell you how practical they are once I start using them, which is very soon because I'm actually getting ready to repot my snake plant, you guys. So I'll show you that in a separate video, but I'm actually getting ready to repot this snake plant. So I'm excited. All right, and so for my Monstera plant, I actually didn't purchase a pot. I purchased this basket that I picked up from Target as well. And that is just because I couldn't find a pot that I really, really, really like for my Monstera. Now, with all of the pots that I bought, my intention was to buy a pot that I plan on replanting it in or repotting it in um, soon. So um, this is not something that, of course, you can't repot in, but I figured in the meantime, it could just look really nice in there. And so it's actually um, hanging out right now because I just watered it. And so um, after it kind of drains for a little while, I put it back in here and then I um, let it hang out in there. All right. And so for my fifth plant, ah! shoot! A bee tried to attack me. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys, that bee got so freaking close. Oh my gosh. Okay, back to the plants. Okay, so we're gonna make this quick. Um, <laughs> this is my succulent plant. And so um, this is the fifth pot that I was telling you guys about. I got it at TJ Maxx Home Goods. And excuse the noise, you guys, they're actually building behind my house, so that's that but um yeah i got this at tj maxx home goods and as you can see oh my god there's that big and you guys see how huge that is this is not going good at all all right let's just get this over with so this pot is really cute it's a little bit more durable than the target ones because it's like like a real clay type pot um but it's the exact same size as the nursery pot so it just fits so it's not really ideal for I mean, I guess you can repot it. I just know that this won't be in this particular pot for long because it just fits. And I think this may be like a four inch succulent um, nursery pot. And this is probably a four inch pot as well. But again, you want it to have some type of drainage at the bottom. So I don't know if you can see, but it has these little holes all the way around the pot. And this is actually outside because I just watered it as well. But these little holes is where the water drains out at. And that way your plant is not sitting in water. So I watered this and then once I see it start to um, come out right there, then I know I got enough water and I still like to tip it over just to drain it a little bit. But that's my succulent, you guys. I think it's so pretty. And I actually keep this in my kitchen window sill. Um, sometimes I bring it out for a couple of hours during the day just so it can get some direct sunlight because this particular plant loves light. So I just wanna make sure it's getting enough light and then I put it back in my kitchen. So that's a quick video on all of my brand new pots that I just bought for my plants. I'm back in the house safe from the carpenter bees or the wood bees or whatever you call them. If anybody knows how to get rid of those things, please let me know down below in the comments. We've tried, I don't wanna say everything, but we've tried the brown paper bag where you kind of fill up a big brown paper bag and kind of crinkle it up to make it look like a wasp's nest because apparently they're afraid of them. Well, the carpenter bees at my house are not. So that didn't work. And then I believe my husband picked up a carpenter bee trap from Home Depot that didn't work it didn't catch no carpenter bees so i mean i don't know what we can do now but those things are humongous and i can't enjoy my backyard because of them so if you guys have any tips below <laughs> let me know please 
But uh, yeah, that's the video on my new pot. Oh, let me show you the accessories really quick. All right, so one of the things I love already is this moisture meter. So I picked up this moisture meter from Amazon and it has been very helpful already. So I actually just stick it down in my plants. I'll just show you, this is a pothos plant. So I stick it down about two inches and it reads the moisture of the soil and it tells me if it is you know, moist, if it's too wet or if it's too dry. So I know exactly when to water it. Before I purchased this, I was just using my finger um, because that's another way you can tell. But, you know, I feel like this is just a little bit more accurate. So I really do love this um, tool already. I also purchased just a spray can so I can spray some of my plants. I got this at Target. It was probably just like a dollar. And um, I mainly just spray this plant and my Monstera plant, the leaves. And that's just to kind of help keep the leaves moist. And um, and I don't know what else, but I, I heard that you need to do it. <laughs> you guys, once I start learning more about <laughs> plant care, I'll give you the full details. But right now, I'm just doing whatever it says I need to do, okay? So yeah, I got this and then I got a watering can and I think I just picked this up from the um, dollar store, the general dollar general. And um, I really did want to look for one that had like a small spout for these self watering plants. When I start to, you know, do the self watering trick, I needed something that was easy for that. And it's just small enough to keep in the house and you know these indoor plants are really small right now so I didn't need anything big so I got that and then I got some gloves from Target they were cute I know that when I start to repot my plants um I may want to use some gloves because it may get pretty messy so I purchased these and so the only things that I haven't purchased that I really need to get is some um plant scissors or they're called like shears, but basically they help you snip off the dead ends or the dead pieces, the dead leaves from the plant. So I need some of those. I guess I could just use regular scissors until then, but I want the proper one. So I need to get some of those. And then I need to get what's called a trowel. I believe is how it's pronounced, but it's kind of like a plant shovel. And that's gonna help me um, kind of uh, shovel the soil whenever I'm replanting and I think kind of stick around the sides to kind of loosen the plant out of its nursery pot. So I need that as well. But other than that, I think I'm okay. I got some soil from the um, plant nursery where I bought the plants from. So I'm gonna use that to repot my plants. Like I said, I need to repot the snake plant ASAP. And that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around to see me repot my snake plant. So that'll be coming up next. It's my first time repotting a plant, so work with me, you guys. But <laughs> I hope I do a good job. So stick around for that video. And that is it. Again, as always, thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss when I upload a new video. And until next time, friends, I'll see you later.